This is my first look at the Epiphone Les Paul SL. It's uh, one of my students' guitars. They brought it to me uh, because I noticed in his lessons he was having a lot of trouble pressing out the first fret, so I figured the nut probably needed a little bit of work. Um, and I just kind of want to do my first impression because I know this is a very uh, common entry-level guitar. The action on this, I would say, is probably the highest action I've ever seen, honestly. I mean, it's a good half inch off of like the 12th fret like if I wanted to play like uh, the Sweet Child of Mine intro like the guitar it's pretty close to being in tune but that intro was definitely not Okay, so tuners actually feel pretty good. Which surprises me. My first guitar was Epiphone Les Paul Special 2, and the tuners on that were okay too, so I guess that's not too surprising. Yeah, it's, it certainly goes sharp because the action's so high. Um, so I just kind of want to take a look at it and let you know, like... I mean, overall, it seems like a nice guitar. Uh, the f there's not a lot of, uh, no, I guess there is quite a bit of uh, fret and catching, so like the fret ends weren't dressed all the way. <laughs> Believe it or not, usually when you, when they do it at a factory, the first like five are really good, and the middle are really bad, and then it gets worse as you go up. But the end here, like from the 15th fret up, is probably better than the middle, which is weird. <laughs> Okay, so the guitar's in tune. My chords are not in tune, which is probably an issue I've been having. I've noticed when he's playing uh, in lessons that the guitar doesn't sound in tune. And I've a I actually do virtual lessons with him, so I've actually never uh, gotten to play the guitar in person. And uh, chords sound out of tune, even though the guitar's in tune. So we are going to do a setup on this. We're going to try and uh, adjust the nut the bridge, and then uh, hopefully, uh, if it needs it, we'll redress the frets, and then I'll come back on camera and let you guys know uh, how it feels, and you can hear what it sounds like after that. All right, so I went ahead and did the uh, the works pretty much on the guitar, so I'll kind of go over exactly what I did and uh, what's going on with it, okay? So first thing I noticed uh, when I you know picked it up was the action was incredibly high. So I took the slugs on the bridge, lowered them all the way down to the bottom, uh, and then I was you know, figuring I'd adjust them up if the uh, action was too low at that point. Um, but at this height, the uh, guitar is fine. And the pickups didn't need to be adjusted from there either. The pickup height uh, in the back is pretty tall and the pickup height in the front is pretty low. But even with the adjustment of the uh, bridge being all the way down, those didn't need to be adjusted. I went through and checked for uh, dead frets, uh, or dead notes, I should say, and uh, there was a couple and then I did a fret rocker test on all the frets after straightening out the neck. And I found that there were a couple frets that were high. I worked on those. The only one I couldn't get was the 12th fret of high E. But everything else ended up working out pretty good. Um, after that, uh, I went ahead and threw a set of new strings on. I used the uh, standard Diodario uh, 10 to 46 set. And then um, after I put those on, I went ahead and worked on the nut. So I don't have a ruler for measuring the height of the action at the nut, but typically the way I play it, or I, I try and get the, uh, the nut to a height that works, is I play a note, like an open E, and I try to hammer on the first, and then I do the same on every string. And if I did, you know, uh, I feel like if I did a good job with it, um, I should be able to hammer on very lightly and the note will come out. All right, so that's uh, that's what I did. And then if you listen, let me make sure it's in tune. These are new strings, so they'll go out of tune a couple of times until they set. There's a little bit of fret buzz on the uh, G string. I'm sorry, not the G string, the D string. The A string, and I believe low E as well. But for a beginner, 
having a little bit of fret buzz is uh, nothing compared to not being able to push down on your first fret. So now the guitar's in tune, uh, playing a chord. Chords are in tune, and then if I play like uh, before I did the intro to Sweet Child of Mine. Still not perfectly intonated all the way up, but on a, uh, a guitar that doesn't have uh, adjustable saddles, it's pretty difficult to get it perfect. I actually will adjust the spacers on the back just to see if I can get it a little bit closer to where it needs to be. Um, but other than that, yeah, not a bad guitar. Um, for a beginner, it's really great. Um, honestly, if you're just starting out and you're learning chords, this guitar is not gonna cause you any issues except for the first fret. Because that first fret, if the nut isn't cut right, pushing down on the first fret is gonna be incredibly difficult, especially for like an F chord where you have the bar, the B, and the uh, high E string for the more simplistic version. Okay, so yeah, this is my uh, first perspective, understanding, and review of the Epiphone Les Paul SL. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you're interested in this guitar, there will be a link in the description. Any of the tools I use to uh, do the work that I did on the guitar will also be in the description along with the strings that I used on this guitar. So if you're interested in getting one of these and doing the work, you can go ahead and uh, use those links. They help out this channel and support me so that I can make more videos for you guys. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks guys. See you next time.